Hey guys, it's the Penny Pinchy Prepper here, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you like this channel, give me a thumbs up. If you like the video after seeing it, give me a thumbs up. Consider uh, subscribing if you haven't, and all that wonderful stuff out of the way. We'll go on to today's topic. Today's topic is um, batteries. Are they worth stockpiling as a prepper? And I'm going to have to say my answer to that is no. Uh, I recommend that you take a totally different route, especially in this day and age where technology has grown too much, or not too much, but so much. And uh, go along the lines of getting something more like one of these uh, more specifically if you are going to get one like this get this one i'll leave the link below uh, there are other routes and we'll talk about that in a minute but this is a uh, four panel five watt it says it can push six watts sometimes uh, 25,000 milliamp battery. It's got two, uh, two charging outputs, uh, standard, you, you plug a standard USB into them. All right. The uh, middle one is the in part, uh, input charging. If you want to, you know, charge it in the wall. But the reason I recommend this one is it, it, it's got a lot of good technology built into it. It's got a super sensitive solar panel. Um, this is my old school mag light. And it, let's see. Where is it? Sometimes it's hard to see. Let's just, uh, ah, right up front. It's just so hard to see, right, right, right here. Even off of just my flashlight, you'll see it, it started charging. The, the green light indicates that it's charging. The four lights here indicate um, how charged it is. And it's fully charged, as you can see. But, you know, just, just off of a little bit of light, from a flashlight it'll even pick up a charge so if you live in a place like I do where it, it tends to be overcast a lot during the winter or on the other side of the coast or the other side of the mountains on the coast uh, it rains there a lot cloudy all the time it's, it's like little England over there or little Europe or whatever but uh, so this, this is why I recommend this one. Now there are many different types of knockoffs of the, this particular, they, they look almost exactly like them. So don't get caught up in those because the solar panels are cheaper and it doesn't have like a charge overload, um, heat overload, uh, all this other type of technology. I, I can't remember everything. You can go back and, and read it from the link that I'll leave. But this is a really great little all-in-one battery bank and charger. Um, the reason I say that is if you have to bug out or the grid is down, there's no power. Uh, solar is really the way I feel you want to go. I mean, gas generators, great short term, awesome, don't get me wrong. Uh, but for long term, you, you don't want solar or wind, but wind is kind of hard to, to tote around right now. There is one one company out there that has created a uh, portable wind generator. It's just at the end of its test stages, I believe, um, and looking to hit the market soon, but it's gonna be pretty darn expensive. I mean, it's the first one, so uh, it's gonna take time for that price to come down. 
So now you don't have to go with an all-in-one. You can get uh, just a, a regular backpacking portable solar panel and uh, you know, if you, you really don't want to fully reinvest in, in your equipment, and, and what I mean by that is, like my old tried and true here, okay? I, I love this thing. This is my mag light. I've had it for a long time. Um, it's in really good condition for how old it is and how much I've beat on this thing. Uh, and I absolutely love it, but it takes batteries. Uh, and I do I do keep a small amount of, oh, there go half of them but I do keep a small amount of, of batteries on hand I'm not gonna lie but that's because you know we have things like remote controls uh, you can't see it but my my wall clock they all they all take these batteries um, and to be honest with you I, I find it cheaper to, to go to somewhere like Sam's Club, buy a pack of those, let them run down when they get close to run down, resupplying, uh, especially somebody on a budget like myself. Um, so if you've gone out and you've already invested in your tried and trues that take batteries and you really want to stick with those and you don't have the money to reinvest into something like these, which these are... USB rechargeable, um, really bright. They, they put my my old uh, mag light to shame. <laughs> I mean, just to shame. Totally blinds it out. But uh, you know, my headlamp. Also USB rechargeable down here at the bottom. And, and the reason I say that is your flashlights, when you're using them full time in, uh, you know, down or a grid down situation, or you're in the woods stuck out there in a, uh, SH, you know, the fan situation, uh, you're going to be using these a lot more than you would on a normal, regular day to day basis where, you know, you might use it for a second here, a second there, but ultimately that battery is going to last you forever because of the fact that you're never having to really use it. For your bug out bags or your inch bags or for your emergency, uh, you know, whatever you have going on, your emergency preps, uh, grid down type thing, those batteries are going to eventually run out. And they also are heavy. Um, you know, uh, uh, this weighs a little over a pound. All right. This here weighs a little under two pounds. Um, so this is just a little bit lighter than this, not, not much. And, and, and that's, that's feeling with it being this empty, you see up here. So I'm, I'm comparing to what I actually have here, not the whole pack. Uh, that amount of battery is right there might last you a month if you're lucky all right so i mean not that we ever want to think that we're going to be without power for a month but if we are that's about how long these are going to last you for one person um, when you're using it 8 10 12 hours depending on where you're at in the region and what time of of the year it is um sometimes you have twice as much dark as you do light. Uh, so you're going to be going through a lot of burning of flashlights. Um, now you might say, well, there's 
oil lamps, candles, stuff like that. Well, that's great when you're in the house, but not so great when you're out in the forest, out in the woods, out in the hills, out in nature, however you want to put it. Um, accidents happen a lot out there. Let's talk about accidents happening, right? Somehow, the wind gusts, blows your lantern off the tree, breaks the glass, it's no good. You have it on the desk, you spill your drink, you go to grab it real quick out of instinct, you knock the lantern over, break the glass, it's no good. So, candles, no good in the wind. I mean, yeah, you can cup them and, and stuff like that, but if it's heavy wind out there and you've got to you know, go drag some firewood in, or you got to go to the bathroom or whatever it is, you're going to have a tough time with that candle. It's just plain and simple. So flashlights are really ultimately the way to go when you're out in the woods. So I'm going to tell you just a little bit more about this. I did write down some things. Um, it does claim to be water shock dust resistant. Now, I haven't really tested that. Um, I've used it several times. It, it does work really good. It charges really fast. But as far as it being those resistance, you know, I, I really can't tell you any too much more about that. Um, and, uh, I am going to leave a link below, and as of today, which is the 9th, I believe it's the 9th, um, it might be the 8th, but hey, whatever day it is, um, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it in the description below with it. I lose my day so easy, guys. I, I, I'm on disability. I don't work. So, uh, I lose my days very easy. Uh, but as of right now, this is 18% off. And uh, there was a coupon code below that you could click on that gave you another 10% off. So, if you're able to get this video and see it and you want to grab one, now might be the time to do it since there are some savings on it. And I'm all about savings. Uh, the other thing is, if you want to stick with your tried and true, or you don't have the money to reinvest in new flashlights, new, um, USB chargeable lanterns, all that kind of stuff, um, I, I completely understand, and I also have a solution for you guys, um, uh, which is the, uh, EBL uh, uh, battery brand, they have some pretty innovative stuff. Now, I don't own any of their stuff, but I have heard remarkable things about them. I hear they're really great, and the thing that makes them so awesome is they realize that there is a need for AA, C, and D batteries that you can recharge using a portable solar uh, panel or generator like I have here. I mean, this is a, a you know small pocket solar generator, but it's a solar generator nonetheless, or battery bank, whatever you want to call it. Um, but they have little portable um, battery chargers that use uh, USB to connect and charge and they also make individual um, AA batteries where the USB charges uh, plugs right into the the battery itself for charging um, and they also make these really cool adapters that take their AA batteries and turn them into C and D batteries. Now, granted, you don't get the same amount of life out of it because, you know, it's still a, a small AA battery, but you can use it in a pinch 
and continue to, well, recharge it if you've got a solar uh, battery bank or a just a solar charger that is USB compatible, uh, which most of them are these days for the portable ones. Um, so, uh, I guess there's really not too much more to say. I mean, really, this this is why I recommend that you always keep some batteries on hand, but invest in some sort of way to use the sun to regenerate. It'll get you further, longer, for less weight, and ultimately, in the long run, less money. And back to what I always say, I'm I'm the penny-pinching prepper, and I'm all about saving. And uh, I uh, hope that I can bring some savings to you guys and, and show you that there are alternate ways to save money. Um, maybe in the long run, most of the time. Not all the time, but... Most of the time, but on the battery, I'm bringing you some savings today and today only um, or until the sale runs out, which I don't have those details, but I do know it's going on today. So I will bring you some savings on that one. And uh, honestly, guys, it's not too expensive to invest in these. I, uh, I only, you know, probably for these two only spent. 35 40 bucks. I did a lot of research. Once again, um, I'm all about the research. Comments are the best. Not necessarily the ratings, but the comments. The comments tell you what's going on. And there'll be a lot of crud between the, the comments, but um, you'll find the ones that tell you whether it's a good product or not. So, always read the comments. Uh, speaking of which, if you like this video, other than the fact that I tend to repeat myself a lot, please give me a thumbs up and consider sharing, subscribing, um, leaving a comment down below if you have anything to add. It's been fun and I hope you have a wonderful day. This is the Penny Pinching Prepper telling you God is good and God bless.